calling you a radical. This is an infamous day. Might as well jump. Go ahead and jump. <laughs> I can't believe it. And I'll tie these two together because 30 years of just bad, bad journalism. You know, the online people, are they're more fucked up than the mainstream media. So, Price Anderson, Congress ups it last night for 40 fucking years. People don't even know the Immunity Act. No accountability on this fucking nuclear cartel. The pork just flies out. They can do whatever they want. All these scumbags. I mean, this failed technology, it's... I mean, talk about opportunity cost. People don't even know what opportunity cost is. So, the opportunity cost has been lost. First off, before I keep going on this, I want to talk about this because this has really been bugging me because all this, they reopened the JonBenet Ramsey case. That case has always got me right in the gut, and I'll tell you why. My little girl, my youngest, exact age, looked exactly like her. I mean, so violated. And I had a company. I had money. I had a lot of different people around me. So it always made me really nervous. You know, because I always felt like mom and dad, I never felt like they did that. I, the, the brother, hell, nine-year-old, and that's, I, you know, the note, the whole thing. I've always felt that it was somebody that knew her and it was a kidnapping gone bad. I think somebody hated her father and or mother, somebody that didn't like them, somebody that knew them. Now, the two hypotheses that it was a kidnapping gone bad, and a, a, a sexual predator, they're not mutually exclusive. It could easily be both. So, surely not the family members. Surely not the nine-year-old boy. And it's real simple. It was real simple from the beginning. I remember thinking this back then. Really simple. They found DNA from a male. Male DNA that was no family member. Somebody, I think JonBenet probably knew who the person. He, got, he was in the house. He got in the house. He wrote that note. And it was a kidnapping gone bad. Now, the Ramses might have some suspicions who didn't like them, whatever. And I think he was going to kidnap her. And I think the kidnapping went bad. I think the little girl fucking fought back. And, you know, and he snapped, whoever it was. And when he snapped, he killed her in a vicious, vicious, brutal way. But the thing is, he had a taser. Whoever did it in those days, in 1996, had a taser. I still say it was probably somebody in security or law enforcement. Somebody, I don't think it's just some crackpot. And I think that the FBI in Colorado knows who it is. I mean, in this day and age of DNA, you tell me they're not matching up that DNA by now? Bullshit. Every swinging in the world has got their DNA. All it takes is a cousin, an uncle. I mean, I think they know. And I think maybe it's somebody pretty powerful. I think it's somebody you wouldn't suspect. Now, this whole, all these onliners that are all over this sexual predator that just got released from prison, I didn't even know that. You know, and then... I guess that just recently. Do I think he did it? No. No. Did I think he wrote that letter? No. The so-called forensic guy. I guess it's possible, but look, he's been in prison for all that long. He's been on the radar. They got his DNA. When you go to prison as a sexual predator, they take your DNA. There would have been DNA. Do I think he did it? No. Hell no. I think it's a kidnapping gone bad. I think the note was real. Mom and dad had nothing to do with it. Well, somebody that didn't like mom and dad. And this guy got her, whoever it was, and he was intending to kidnap her. And I went back and he killed her in a vicious fucking way. The brother? Fuck, oh, nine-year-old kid. No way. And I can tell you why, no way, too. We've had all these years. You would have seen different instances and situations with him. He would have been as fucked up as they got. Man, he's not. He's... I never felt like, I always felt like the cops knew who it was. I always felt like the police and the FBI are covering for someone. I still say, I still say that I think it was probably a cop. Somebody who's got ties. Well, maybe not a cop, but somebody who's got serious ties 
in Boulder, Colorado. So, okay, enough of that. But so I think it was a kidnapping gone bad, and I think they know who it is. And I think they've been covering. I think they're I think they're gonna get an arrest. I think DNA sophisticated, they got it. I think it's gonna be eminent. I don't think it's gonna shock the shit out of people when they find out who it was. And hopefully the scumbag, because they should have solved this a long time ago. It was an easy case to solve. I mean, they didn't even find the body. How hard did they look? I mean, come on. I mean, it's, again, my little girl looked exactly like, oh, the parents took her to these beauty. So what? Fuck, lots of parents take this. Year. There's lots of sexual predators all over. Catch them. Why didn't they? Because the fucking police never solve anything. Fuck it. They never solve anything. And then you get all these online fucking lunatic freaks fucking coming up with all kinds of crap, writing books. I mean, you're going to get rich off exploiting the death of that little girl? It's so disgusting, these book writers. I'm glad they got sued. They deserve to be fucking sued. You know, all the media and everything? Fuck. I think it's going to shock people, and I think the rest is imminent. So, to Price Anderson, I'll tie them together. And the reason I tie this together because it's been 30 years, because the media that we've had, we go back to the 90s when media went to shit. And we have no media. That's exactly what happened there. No media. Price Anderson, the Immunity Act, I mean, might as well jump. It's leap day. So here's what you need to do. Every single one of person in our army, it doesn't matter how many you are, you need to call both senators' offices today. I've already called I called Mike Lee's office. You know, Mike Lee knows me. Mitt Romney knows me. I've called their office. You know, ask for calls, but I'll get no call back. And I told them what my grievance was. See, the House is passing, I mean, so widely. But the Senate might be a little different thing. Now, rumor is, I know Mike Lee's one of his aides. You know, the cover-up of Fukushima, I asked him right here, you know, and he's done but not a lie to me, but I got a hunch he might vote against it. You know, he saves, claims he's a free market guy. He claims, I mean, for the park. So even his staff, or she knows me, and she even said, well, I don't think he supports this. Mitt Romney told me to his face he didn't want to support it. So you need to call both your senators. Now, for all you people... Each state, you have two senators. Congress, you know, what was the vote last night? 396 to 40 or something like that. A couple abstained. You know, so I see one of the congressmen from Ohio abstained. <laughs> Where the bribe and the fraud is going on. I mean, it ties into that Ohio bribe and fraud. But again, how does these tie together? Because of no media. If the media knew, and they wouldn't have blackballed Kevin Wax, and the media... Well, the media would have, the public would have knew. If the media would have reported Fukushima, there's no way they would freaking pass this. If the media would have reported the John Ape case properly, they didn't. You know, they all gung ho, mom and dad did it, which is bullshit. I, I mean, like I said, my little girl, she ain't little no more. And my grandson, who's always with me, I think about that a lot. I mean, that young woman be 33 years old now. She'd probably have kids of her own. And some creep has got away with it all the time. And I believe that the FBI and Colorado and law enforcement know who it is. I don't know how they couldn't. Know. They have DNA. When they found DNA on her body, do I think it was a sexual... It doesn't I, Was she sexually assaulted? It doesn't sound like it. I mean, but maybe... Ah, uh, from what the, you know, forensics show, I think it was a kidnapping gone bad. I think it was somebody who knew her. Some fucking violent, fu and I think he's probably a powerful person. And I think they've been covering for him the whole time because I think the DNA, they fucking know who it is. You know, and of course, like I said, the FBI, they never saw that. Ask Liz was smart as fucking dad. So... I'm getting ready to put the aerator in here. That's the new pumps. That's what they're doing. Seeing if they work. That's one of them right there. You know, it's supposed to prevent algae. So, that's what I'll tag it. I think there'll probably be a rest here soon. I think there's going to be a lot of fucking egg on a lot of people's fucking faces when this arrest comes down. I think they know. 
I don't know how they couldn't fucking know. I really don't know how they couldn't fucking know. So, when there's DNA, and the DNA doesn't match anybody in the family, and it's a male's DNA. Who's the DNA? <laughs> you figure out who that is. And by the way, this guy everybody's claiming, he's a sexual predator been in prison. It's not him. Because they have his DNA and it doesn't match. If his DNA matched, he would, they wouldn't have let him go. So, that's not who it is. There's no fucking way. They know who it is. And I think when it comes out, I think it's going to fuck his mind. So, it's heartbreaking to think after all those years with DNA, they've made no arrest. I mean... Just think about how many low-profile cases. The indigenous women are inside the union right now. I should go talk to them, the Navajos, about all the missing. We had this. Remember we had the radio show, Indigenous Voices here, and they got rid of it? What? I mean, how many Native women have disappeared off reses? I mean, they're in their, you know, they got, they've been protesting all week. They're fantastic. We had this discussion. Well, they got rid of our great radio show, Indigenous Voices. Why? Why? I don't know. I don't know. So call your senators because their only hope at this point we go, they're cleaning up their pumps on their aerating system. It's new. Our only hope is maybe these senators can get it diluted down. So if you're going to immunity act, maybe they can put some language in there that at least makes it a little bit better. This total fucking blanket immunity. Call your senators. Call them both. Just call their office. Say, hey, this I saw Congress last night. Might as well leave. Re-up the Immunity Act for 40 years last night. I didn't really know it was even coming up for vote. I'm totally against it. The nuclear energy crime scandal. Why should they get carte blanche? You know, why should us, the United States taxpayers, have to pay for these guys like Bill Gates, like New Scale here in Utah? New Scale ripped us off. And they're using the, the Immunity Act to shield themselves. It was a Ponzi scheme. So call your senators, both of them, and just say, no, no, no. Why, after all these years, 80 years of giving these guys free money and no freaking, um, no, no. Stop perpetuate because of opportunity cost. What's opportunity cost? Can you imagine the billions and the trillions and the gazillions that got into the nuclear? What about all the waste? These little reactors, they don't even exist. And, you know, more waste, but this is for all reactors. Can you imagine the money that's been spent on promoting nuclearism? Would have been put on wind and solar. A real solutions? Fuck, there would be no fucking climate problem. And just say one thing to them. Fukushima. Uh, Pacific Ocean dies. Stock market makes all the time. So, I'm going to get this up. Might as well jump. Leap day. Leap day 2029. Might as well jump. Go ahead and jump. Fuck. What a journey. So, stay in tune.